Hello. I didn't expect you before mid-afternoon, if then. Me either. Was there a problem? Cancellation for the interview? No, actually, everybody was there at the interview except me. For some reason, I found it very difficult to concentrate on my work. Inner meeting and a fourth session at the Polo Lounge. Now, I thought running a country was hectic. Are you making fun of me? Never. Now, tell me more. Well, then this morning I had a 7 a.m. breakfast meeting. Now, I can barely eat at that hour, much less negotiate. But that's 10 o'clock Washington Well, time. you are ruining my story. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, it wasn't until my um, 9 o'clock meeting that I began to have a problem. A problem? Yes, I, um, I began to have a very difficult time concentrating on how I could convince this reclusive rock star's press agent why I wasn't interested in the plight of independent zoo owners. This could be serious. I didn't think anything could distract you from your work. God knows I've tried. That you have. I just don't know what could have gotten into me. You don't? It looks to me like you've been uh, very hard at it, too. Ali, tell me something. Anything. Anything? How, how can you afford to take the time out from running the country to fly halfway around the world? In pursuit of the world's second most stubborn woman. Second? I pray that somewhere in the world there's one woman more stubborn than you, but for the life of me, I can't imagine where. You didn't answer my question. Sloan, what you see before you is not one man, but two. There's the prince that leads the nation, and there's the man, like so many others, the same frailties, the same desires. For the last three years, that man had to take a back seat to the leader. And now, I'm allowing that man to come first. I have to. I can't let what we have between us just go out of my life. Not without a fight. What about Barack? He will still be there when I return. But what good is a leader who has no heart? I don't do that. Come on, whatever it is you're feeling, tell me. Yesterday when you asked me if I trusted you, I said I wanted to. And I promised you that I would never hurt you. I understand how difficult it is for you right now to believe that. Sloane, it is the truth, I swear it. I believe you. It's just I don't know where we go from here. Your Highness? Miss Denning, you may unfasten your seatbelts now if you like. Can I bring you something to eat? Uh, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. No, thanks. All right. Let's talk about where we go from here. What can I say? This, this says everything. Look, I'm, I'm on my way back to Washington to run a television show to build my career. You are flying back to Barack to the responsibility of running an entire country. How can we possibly build a relationship, Bob? It all depends on how much we want to build a relationship. A lot more is at stake here than what we want. Can you honestly tell me that either one of us could possibly go on pretending that this does not exist between us? You can't let go of this slime. Yes, I care for you, and yes, I want you. But that's no solution. Perhaps you're just not being imaginative enough. <laughs> Our situation is like this flight, which may be more of an adventure than what you think. Okay. We're flying over the ocean. Are we? Ali! How can we be flying over the ocean if we're going back to Washington? Damn it, Ollie, where are you taking me? In 
is all over land. Would you like to tell me where it is we are going? To dinner, aren't you hungry? Why can't we have dinner in Washington? Well, you can be more imaginative than that. Arlene, I want you to tell me right now exactly where it is we are going. What should we have for first course? Arlene! Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? halfway around the world to have dinner. Why not? Okay, we're still over the ocean, which means we are going west. We're, are we going to Hawaii? Further west than that, um, Hong Kong? Singapore. Have some more champagne. You aren't going to tell me where we're going, are you? Have some. You'll feel better. You are the most infuriating man I have ever met. No, I don't like the sound of that. Well, you are. The last time you said that to me, you walked out of my room and out of my life. Didn't I? I propose a toast to starting over. Starting over. You know we um, we do have a lot to talk about here. Ah no, no. There's one condition to this very special evening. What's that? We do not talk about anything that's gone on before. There's no talk of politics or of your show, or anything that's gone on, all right? There's no war going on, there's no world outside. This is just Sloane and Ali, just the two of us. Deal? Or do I have to tell the pilot to turn the plane around and go back to Washington? You know, you drive a very hard bargain. It's one of my best qualities. Do you know how much I've missed you? Yeah, I have some idea. Ali? Hmm? Where are we going to dinner? <laughs> you never give up, do you? Never. Good. Neither do I. 